everybody said it's impossible. But we made Blood Summoner Necro work, and it is absolutely brilliant. The best part, it works from level 1 to level 100, and you don't need the Ring of Mendel. You could use the Death Speaker's Pendant, but it also works perfectly without. Skill breakdown, aspects, itemization, Paragon board, the whole package. Blood Search Summoner Necro is quite simple in the gameplay loop. You have your Blood Search, which soaks life and heals you out of everyone around and then blasts out an aura of damage. And if you have the Death Speaker's Pendant, that also happens on all of your minions. So you're focusing on overpower damage here. With the Decrepify Curse, you can reduce the cooldown of your Golem to stun and make opponents vulnerable. Vulnerable doesn't work with overpower, but regardless of that, you don't always overpower, obviously, so you do normal damage as well. And that's where the vulnerable comes in nicely. The good part is, due to the right aspect, you have an insane attack speed that allows you to just fly out 100 blood surges in a row. A unique that you actually get for finishing the campaign, Mother's Embrace, make sure your essence doesn't run dry, together with the cold skeletons actually replenishing your essence, which leads to a fun gameplay loop that whenever you're out of essence due to crits and overpower and the attack speed, you can instantly soak back up again to blast out and overwhelm your opponents. Now to the skills 1 to 50. First, the skills. And yes, we start with hemorrhage and it's actually insanely useful. People will say reeb or decompose, but we're not interacting with corpses apart from resting our minions in any way. So we don't need bonus corpses. Also, hemorrhage gets a nice attack speed buff while healthy and we'll need that. I'll explain more with the aspects. Fast forward all the points in blood surge that are possible. Why? Because you don't overpower all the time. Yes, overpower doesn't really much care if you have one or five points on. It's more scaling with your health and with your fortify, but you still want as many points in as possible because four surges out of five are not overpowered and they do incredible damage as well. And you want to clear even without overpowering. That goes for enhanced blood surge and also per normal blood surge for the guaranteed overpowers into unliving energy for more essence, but also imperfectly balanced to get 15x increased damage. That costs a little bit more essence, but that's why I'm mitigating for that. That being said, imperfectly balanced doesn't seem to work on overpower itself, but again, it works on everything that is not overpower, which you're also doing plenty. Fast forward blood mist into fortifying blood mist, which can be incredibly nice to just go through your opponents and fortify a little bit. Again, you don't want to produce the corpses. That being said, it can be very annoying to respawn your skeletons if you might die in a dungeon. So you could take the ghastly blood mist, like just in that case, one point out, one point in, spawn three corpses, rest three skeletons, go back to the fortify. Because again, fortify in your case is going to be what scales your damage. Three points in skeleton mastery so your skeletons don't die. Same goes down here for the skeleton mages. We do use Decrapify, not really to reduce the cooldowns. Yes, on the blood golem is nice. And with a blood surge, you actually lucky hit quite a lot. But it's also 20% damage reduction on your enemies. That's quite significant. I mean, just start with the Decrapify and they instantly do 20% less damage for free. Plus, you're also getting amplified damage for nine times increased damage to cursed enemies. We have less damage taken from close, more damage too close and also more damage to distance because we're kind of like doing our damage to everyone in a room two meters away but also 10 meters away very important here is your blood skills you want to have the more healing you also want to have your blood orbs actually heal your minions which is incredibly interesting then as many points in quilla says blood for the 24 x increased damage for the 15 x increased overpower damage which is doubled and then last but not least, lucky hit, you fortify for 8% with a 25% chance. And that happens quite a lot, especially if you have the Death Speaker's Pendant. We'll come to that later. That is with another 3 points in Golem. And then you'll find this interesting. We have 0 points in Bonded Essence because the 10% heal has to turn out to be more than enough, especially with the Blood Orbs. And 3 points in Inspiring Leader for more attack speed. So your mages actually give you even more Essence. Followed up by death defense, so they can only take 30% of damage with one hit. Hellblade Commander gets zero points because, again, your minions don't really do the damage. They're there to produce the essence for you and soak up some initial damage so you actually stay healthy all the time and you can just spam away. Also, Death Speaker's Pendant scales with you 
and not with your minions. Last but not least, Rathma's Vigors. Last but not least, Rathma's Vigor recently buffed to 12 seconds instead of 15, which is incredible. That's three seconds less. And that, you know, like the more, the longer the fight goes on, the more Rathma's Vigor you use per fight, the better it is. That's like three seconds, less, six seconds, less, nine seconds. You, you know where I'm going with this. Now for our skeletons, we actually are not using the Reapers because again, we don't need the corpses. You could still use the Reapers to create some more corpses just in case you need corpses for the race skeleton. Just in case you need corpses for the race skeleton. That being said, you produce enough and we don't interact with them. So I'm choosing defenders that ignore one instant of damage every six seconds. You could also have them have more thorns, but I'm not using thorns at all. The skirmishers are quite useless because they take 30% increased damage, while the shield bearers have 15% increased life, and they essentially soak up damage so you can stay healthy and do more blood surges. The mages are going to be cold for the bonus essence. You want your mages to essentially make you as much essence as possible to never be essence starved. And I tried the Blood Golem for the 15% damage reduction. That was nice. You could also go for the Bone Golem that actually goes for the Taunt and could drop some corpses as it takes damage. But honestly, the Iron Golem just feels best because it can make enemies vulnerable and stunned. That adds damage versus stunned, damage versus vulnerable. Vulnerable doesn't scale with overpower. It doesn't interact at all. But again, you're doing also non-overpower damage. And due to the very high attack rate you're having, the three seconds vulnerable allows you to fire out 12 attacks or so, 12 blood surges in these three seconds time window. Now, the aspects play a crucial role in this. First and foremost, for this build, you want the unique that you will get for finishing the campaign. Yes, it's called Mother's Embrace. If core skills hit five or more enemies, 40% of the resource cost is refunded. And that's incredible because one blood surge cost gets just cut, cut in half as the more enemies are around you. It also gives you overpower damage, critical strike damage, because yes, overpower can critical strike, lucky hit chance for more fortify, and also all stats, which is good. You can see this is a very low roll for me. It's a four out of four upgrades. I'm still looking for a better one, but it's the one I get from the campaign and I'm keeping this can drop from world tier four on later. So no worries about that. You can get it again, or you can just beat the campaign on an alt character to then put it on your main character. Now we're also using the death speakers pendant. Keep in mind this build works perfectly without, but like as it goes to the ring of Mendon, the death speakers pendant supercharges the build. From one to 50, you don't need this at all. Up to at level 80, you also don't need this. After level 80, it might be good to have. 18 plus percent damage to blood skills, 15 summoning skill damage, kind of useless because we're not summoning much here, but our golem is actually getting bonus damage, overpower damage 60%, insane, and then ranks and qual assess blood, one out of three. That's a bit weak, I need three in that because this is the damage that all your blood scales do, multiplicative scaling. But what this does is it makes a blood surge nova around all your minions for 700 damage. Damage is increased by 10% per target drained by the initial cast up to 50%. And this blood surge nova scales with your fortify and your life and your things, just like the Ring of Mendon scales with this stuff. Now, if you're asking, Pony, what if I have the Pendant and the Ring of Mendon? Obviously, you could add the Ring of Mendel into this as well, but I didn't want to overload this with uniques because one you always get and the other one you don't need could find easy. Now, one of your most important aspects is whenever your blood skills overpower, you gain 50% attack speed for four seconds. That does two things. You overpower with your blood surge and the consecutive blood surges are coming out. It's ba 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 Very awesome. Especially if you're using a one-handed weapon like a wand, or a dagger, your attack speed gets exponentially higher. And then if you increase the attack speed, it gets even higher. If you use this on a two-handed weapon, it's useless. But on a one-handed weapon, it goes from brrr to brrr. That's not the only one though. There's another aspect that synergizes perfect with this. But first, let's look at what the ring does. Overpower damage, max minion life is a must. On every item that can have max minion life, you want that. Maximum essence, I don't necessarily need that. And fortify generation is extremely good because I want more fortify. There's also a bunch of good fortify nodes. What works perfectly together with this is critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed by 22% for five seconds. So you get the double thruple because you do so many novas. And here comes the interesting part with the death speakers pendant. These novas also overpower and also crit and they count to the attack speed, but also they count to the fortify generation. So if they actually trigger and they trigger the lucky hint because they trigger from your lucky hint, then you get even more fortify and constantly run around fortifying with blood surge. And the best part is if you run out of essence ever, 
you just hold your right mouse button for hemorrhage and with the bonus of 22% attack speed and the bonus of 50% attack speed, you have such a fast attack speed that in the matter of 1.5 seconds, you have your essence already completely full again and can blast the elite away. Now, you obviously want your bonus skill to mages and you obviously want your bonus skill to warriors. And actually, it's the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Most important is also the aspect of disobedience for the bonus armor and yourself stacking that also goes over to your minions to make yourself more tanky. My chest, for example, has total armor, damage, damage reduction, and blood skill damage. The blood skill damage could go away for minion life, and also the damage for me could also go away for bonus life to myself. Because again, more life, more damage, and I already have 8,000 life at level 80. I kind of want to get to 10,000 life very early. Now, my pens have damage reduction on my minions, and that is extremely good because you want your minions to survive. Maximum life for me, maximum minion life, total armor, and damage reduction. This is actually the absolute ultra best in slot role for any summoner build. You, you have everything. Also, while injured, your potions also grant you 30% maximum life as a barrier. That's incredibly good. This, this pens is absolute ultimate s tier and it was dropped to me by a community member shout out chat now on the one we're playing blood wave fires two additional waves each dealing 50 percent less than the previous one and it's the wrong aspect i've been literally playing yesterday all day long with the wrong aspect because i'm an idiot that one is supposed to be blood surge echoes again after a short delay dealing 62 percent less damage <sighs> how did i miss out on that I'm, I'm i'm okay it's fine the good part is this also the blood surge nova echo thingy works on every death speaker pendant as well beautiful and on the often there's something that scales incredibly funny each percent of your maximum life you heal beyond 100 grounds is 0.5 percent plus bonus overpower damage on your next overpowering attack up to 32 slash 60 percent now that works so good because your minions soak up damage initial damage you can send in your golem first to stun Blood Surge actually heals you for 2.5% of your maximum life, 200, when drawing blood from enemies. Four or more enemies are drawn from, then heal for an additional 2.5% of your maximum life. So for every enemy, 400 heal. If I'm max health, I'm overhealing. I'm overhealing with that aspect to then have my next overpower. Bam. So more opponents, more damage more heal your minions blocking the damage away from you and that's what i'm saying you know, don't need the pendant the minions itself have a role they play and the more kavoom you actually do and the best part is due to the heal you can just walk into gigantic packs of enemies and just blast them away while they hurt you but you hurt them and you heal but they don't heal and they die let me just quickly demonstrate how fast and fun you can essentially zoom through one level of blind bros and i actually don't know how to pronounce that correctly because uh yeah uh, I'm German. I'm not English speaking main, so I'm, I might butcher every now and then. You notice we're not running out of essence. We probably don't use our Decrapify all the time because here it's uh, tier 28, so the damage is not that high. Uh, you could do it for the easy execution, obviously, to get enemies a bit faster down. But yeah, you, you notice how we're just going through now. We overwhelmed and boop, instant essence full again. We just get out of it. There's the elite. <laughs> we spam everything away. Again, use the overpower and the crit and everything to just get the super attack speed if needed. And on you go. And the best part is you really damage just a whole room. You don't have to worry about targeting your damage anywhere. I mean, you, you want to maybe stand close to the main culprit. So if there is like uh, a, a lead, you want to just run into him because your Nova echoes on him. But here on these, like I just stand in the middle and get the bonus attack speed. And yeah, I want that healthy helmet. Thank you. And due to the great attack speed stacking that you can, due to the crits and the overpowers, well, you notice how this is really not an issue. I mean, again, we're going to overpower and then make sure that we use our attack speed crit to just fill up our essence again, burn the next pack of mobs, <laughs> go, go to the next thing out of essence, like quickly, make sure to overpower or crit so you get the incredible attack speed, fill your essence up again. Artillery shroud. Now it gets mental because this is going to be what's happening. Oh. Yes, my blood wave is not being used very much. It's like really the get out of jail card in case I do get frozen or anything. And I someone is trying to stop me from blood surging everyone to death like there's no tomorrow. Then, then, you know, I use it. But else, no. Okay, which which, which do we miss? Oh, there, there must be one here right next to me, huh? Now let's fast forward Jim to the boss so I can show you that as well. 
The boss is now a singular opponent. We're luckily fully fortified and we have fully held. So that's a good thing. Send the golem in, get him stunned. And then again, refill our essence really quick and then walk up to it and continue doing what you do best. Ta -da! Also the best rune in existence for every five willpower purchase within range, you deal 6.6 .6 increased damage while healthy. S tier. The Paragon board for this is a little bit complicated and we'll probably go for a couple of versions before it's perfect, but this is essentially version three already and probably going to need another three versions to make it perfect. We go for the damage and max life, more max life, obviously, and we're using the imbiber rune. For every five willpower purchase within range, you deal increased damage with healthy. We talked about it. And then you gain increased potion healing, which is very useful to soak yourself up also for that over damage with your aspect. We're getting the armor and the intelligence. We're getting the bonus damage. Straight up move on. And what we're trying to do is a lot of willpower notes for essence generation, but also a lot of dexterity for that critical strike, but also for our notes later on. Then we're linking together the bloodbath board because that is attacks because that is attacks that are guaranteed to overpower, deal 50% increased overpower damage, and that's multiplicative. Works insanely well. We're taking also fortified generation and bonus damage plus more damage followed up by damage while healthy which is insane and then all the overpower damage nodes you can take first thing you can do is you're gonna go over to the cult leader board and the cult leader board straight up debt razor rune for the damage reduction and bonus minion damage technically the most dam minion damage is not needed but it's 10 in and you need the 10 in to activate the debt raisers additional bonus then we can also go up here to get damage while fortified and in plus more damage while fortified followed up by healing receive bonus and that's another eight percent healing receive bonus which works perfectly together with your blood surge to actually heal you more as you're blood surging followed up by the amplified glyph which boosts the magic notes within range which i also might want to replace through something actually boosting the rare notes instead of the magic notes but you do more damage against enemies curse 10 percent multiplicative kind of nice Fast forward, we're going down here for the next board, and that's the Blood Begets board. We don't want this. Blood Orb's gone 5% increased damage up to 15%. That's kind of useless because we're not really focused on Blood Orbs with this. What we want is the overpower damage. It's 60% overpower damage plus and another damage and then more overpower. It's insane. You really want this. And on top of that, you also want the damage while healthy. You don't actually want the damage for picking up Blood Orbs. No, you just want the damage while healthy, damage while healthy. Then we're going over for the Send of Death board. Since we're not interacting with corpses, but creating corpses, we're constantly getting damage reduction. But as we run into the enemy and we don't have a single kill yet, we get 15% increased damage. Against bosses, for example, or single elite standing then around there, if the corpse is already despawned. There's also damage to healthy enemies. So your initial blood surges hit harder and bonus critical strike damage because your surges can critical strike. We have the Blood Drinker Glyph here, which gives a bonus to the magic notes that is inned and also damage to injured and inned again. Plus, Blood Orbs fortify you for percentages of your life, which is kind of nice. We also have here damage to injured enemies, a little bit of armor. Go up wards into the Flesh Eater board without taking Flesh Eater because we're not interacting with corpses. For the damage to injured enemies with the critical strike damage, we get damage to elites and intelligence, and then also resistance to all elements and intelligence. Plus, then we can go over here to the Dead Razor board on top for the multiplicative max minion life because this is not additive minion life. This is multiplicative minion life and it's 100% needed in the long run. Therefore, we also have the Territorial Rune, which gives us more damage to close targets and damage reduction against close enemies as well. Mainly because this is a dex based thingy and there's so much dex nodes in here. We want to have that. That being said, this is the third version. I'm probably going to need another three versions to make this perfect. So use this for now but we might have to rewind the whole thing to make it perfect ladies and gentlemen i hope the blood summoner necker has you as much enticed and amazed as i was by this we'll also be trying out a blood lens build but i heard it's currently breaking the server so might not want to try this on higher nightmare dungeons right now that being said if you're more interested in the traditional bone prison breaking mendel and summoner there's a video and if you want to play this without minions there's the level 70 blood surge built without minions Plus the learnings from this video. Improve.